Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you Team Viewer. Team Viewer lets you access computers remotely and it also works between Mac and PCs, PCs to PCs and Macs to Macs. So you could take control of any computer using this software. Now for personal use, this is completely free, but if you're using it for business, you do have to get the business license and it's a monthly subscription. You could also use it for hosting meetings, for example, virtual meetings, video meetings. But in this case, I'm gonna show you how to remotely access another computer. Now, what's important is that TeamViewer has to be installed on both computers in order to use this. You need the software on both of those computers. So for example, if you're working from home and your computer is at work, TeamViewer has to be installed on both of those computers to get access. You could also use this to help other people remotely. So when they give you their TeamViewer access code, you could log into their computer and take over and move anything, really treat any computer as if it was right next to you, but completely remotely using your Wi-Fi connection. Let's jump in the computer. I wanna show you where to get TeamViewer, how to install it, and then I'll show you how to access one computer from another computer completely remotely. You could access TeamViewer from link below this video in the description or go to teamviewer.com and there's a couple ways to subscribe. There are business subscription options, so you could click that and see the monthly pricing for those options, or you could get it completely for free for personal non-commercial use only. That's what I'm gonna do in this case. And it is completely available for Mac, PC, and there are apps also available for iOS and Android. So let's go ahead and do it for the Mac here. It pretty much works the same on any operating system. Let me go ahead and install it on my Mac. You have to do the same thing for a PC. Just click the download link and go ahead and install TeamViewer. So the TeamViewer app here looks the same on Mac and PC. So on the side here, you have remote control, what I'm gonna focus on mainly in this video, but you also have meeting where you could set up presentation, video calls, phone calls, schedule meetings. You have augmented reality chats, and you could add computer and contacts by creating an account. But let's focus on remote control. I'm gonna use this computer here, this iMac, to access another computer. It could be a Mac, it could be a PC. I'm gonna go ahead and log into that using this. If I wanted someone else to log into this computer, first they'll need to also install TeamViewer, the same process that you saw here, so you could share this video with them to do that. And then you need to give them your ID and your password. On their end, TeamViewer is gonna ask them their ID and their password right over here. So they'll have to type in your ID over here, partner ID, and then we'll ask for their password and we'll have to type that in. So that'll give them access to remote controlling your computer or if you just wanna have access to file transfer, you could go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and right now, I'm gonna log into a different laptop right now. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. So again, on the other computer, they have to go to teamviewer.com, press this download link right on top and use a device over here to get it. So if they're on a Mac or Windows or Linux, they have to download that. So for example, if I'm on a Mac, I'll click Mac here and I'll go ahead and download it on the other computer as well. I've already done it on this computer, but it's the same process. So now we need our partner ID to log in. So they'll find it exactly over here once they install TeamViewer 2. So it's gonna be this number here. I'm not gonna type in this one. I'm gonna type in the one they're gonna give me. It's a little bit different on their computer. Same number of digits here. So let me type that in and I want remote control. I'm gonna press connect. Next, they're gonna ask for the password of their computer. Again, they'll find it over here. This is my password, their password, or the other computer's password, if it's yours, is gonna be over here on that device. So look or ask for it on that device and type it in here, and then I'll press login. Now remember, let me come up here to the Apple sign and press system preferences and go over here to security and privacy. Let me click that. You do have to give TeamViewer access here, especially on a Mac, or it's not gonna work properly. So you have to give it accessibility access. So I already checked that on. Full disk access and screen recording access. So I already did that. Except for full disk access, it did not show up right here. So I'll go ahead and unlock it over here one more time. And I'll just go ahead and press the plus sign. And I'll look up on my search team viewer and give it access that way. So I'll press open. And just like that, it's giving it access after I quit now. So I'll go ahead and press that. And now I'll go ahead and search for TeamViewer one more time. 
up here, team viewer, and I'll go ahead and open the app again. I'll close my secure and privacy window and it should be on my dock here, team viewer. So I'm back to it. Now, if I give access to the other computer, everything should work fine. And if you've accessed a computer before, it will be under this dropdown and you could select it, but you still need to ask for the password or know the password. Now, this password does change if you restart team viewer. So it's not going to be the same one as before. So let me type in the new password that I just got from the other computer. And over here, it's connecting right now. It's going to take a couple of seconds and it's giving me access to the other computer again. So now I'm looking exactly at the other laptop I just connected to. So I could do anything. I could launch programs on that laptop. I could go ahead and look at their system preferences. I could go ahead and edit anything on a Word document or even edit on one of these Adobe Premiere projects. Whatever I wanna do here, it's exactly as if I had this computer right here next to me. So I could even go ahead and launch their websites here, basically the same as if I was sitting right there. There might be a tiny bit of lag due to the connection. Let me go ahead and minimize this page on here. And on this window, there are some options on top that you could take advantage of. So under action, for example, you have some options here like locking the computer. You could change your view. So if you're experiencing any lag or delay or quality issues, you could go ahead and change the resolution, for example, or the quality or the scaling here. You have your audio and video quality here where you could go ahead and video chat with someone and that will initiate a video conversation. So as you could see here, I could give it access to my camera and you see me over here and they could do the same. So if I was helping someone remotely, this is a really cool option. Let me go ahead and close this here, close session and the video access is gone. I could do the same thing with chat or audio or even whiteboard here. So if I was helping someone on the side here, I have a whiteboard that I could use and I could select any of these things like a marker here or a highlighter and I could go ahead and draw on their screen and they will see that on their screen exactly the same way. So that's the whiteboard option over here. And you have some extras here where you could invite additional participants if you need to, if you are sharing this with multiple people. And when you're done and you've basically shown the other person what they need to do or did something to your other computer that you needed to do remotely, you could end the session by pressing X. And just like that, that ends the session. It's gonna save your partner ID but the password is gonna reset if you do close this application here. So again, you could insert the partner ID or another partner ID here, ask for their password or know the password, or if you're logging into your own additional computer and you're all set. I hope you could benefit from TeamViewer. I'll also put a link in the description below this video to their frequently asked questions. So just in case any technical things come up, you could check out that document. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching again.